Hello guys and girls, uh, I just realised I've been shooting a bit of a video here of the restoration of this stand and I think I've had the mic off the whole time. It's been a while since I've done YouTube, um, but uh, I'll just recap what I've done. Um, so these, this top half of the stand is like, is probably in the best condition, even though it's the worst. I mean the whole stand's bad, is what I'm saying. But the top half is like, needing the least amount of attention. Um, so some of the artwork's just lifted here. You can see the, the crack here where this was peeling up. Um, and this one had the least amount of lift and I've just been basically gluing it back down and putting weights down to compress um, compress it back into a nice sandwich. Because the way the stand works is there's like a glossy back, a pulpy cardboard thick middle, and then a top glossy layer that has the artwork on it. So it's like a, like a sandwich essentially. And I'm just gluing it back together and hoping that I can get it to stand up. Um, it'll never be worth any money. It's worth something to me because there were only two in Australia and I got one of them from the acclaim office when they were around. And I just want to have it again and be able to stand it up and have the bloody hug part. The bloody hug part goes in the middle here of the girl hugging the guy and wiping the blood on the back. And um, that part's okay because um, mate, basically the, the base of it was the part that stuffed up the most. Um, although the bloody hug part was slotted in these slots here and some of those slots are like fraying so they'll all have to be glued as well. But um, <clears throat> this is actually coming along alright. So um, this is my new uh, work area that got uh, added to my little house. So I've got a little work area here and I've got a storeroom. So all my stuff's out of storage. Now, all my Mortal Kombat stuff, I've got it in the next room here. I've sorted it all out and repacked it and restacked the room and yeah, it's great to have everything back here in my hands because there'd be times when I'd be looking for something and I'm like, oh, it must be in storage and I could go there and try and look for it, but I couldn't get to every box because it was packed right in, so. But yeah, the glue I'm using for this is Boyle Craft Glue. Um, I got this from Bunnings, which is like a hardware store in Australia. Um, I don't know if you guys have it over there, uh, overseas, but this says wholly Australian owned, so I'm going to say no. <laughs> um, but this glue is pretty good. Um, when you first put it on, uh, I actually really like this glue because, like, even when it dries, it's easy to, it gets flaky and it's easy to just break it off. So it doesn't ever block the top. You can just break it off if there's a bit there. Um, and it's not like super, like it's got a bit of a gluey stink, but it's not like super like off-putting, like it's okay, you can work with it. Um, and basically it doesn't like set straight away, which is, it says fast, quick drying, but uh, that, that doesn't say how long really. Let's see, does it say here? Nah, it doesn't say anywhere. But I like that um, because I apply the glue and I put weights on it and then I, I leave it for an hour or two and come back and it's, it's set and everything's in place. So I actually like that and that's what I'm just using. But um, I'll read out the contents if, if you guys want to replicate this for whatever reason. Because I hate it when you watch a YouTube video and they're like, I use glue and you're like, what glue? And they don't say. So uh, I'm trying to give you as much information here as possible. Um, it contains vinyl, uh, acetate, polymer, 30 to 60%, ethanol, alcohol, 35 to 45%, and acetone, 20 to 30%. So, that's all the information I can give you on it. But, um, yeah, no, this has been pretty good. It just says that it's for uh, paper, cardboard, wood, plastic, glass, ceramics, metal. It's a craft glue. It's, you know, it's used for crafting shit. So, I got a 500 ml bottle because of it. A 250 ml bottle was 10 and this was 15 so I wasn't sure how much I was going to go through. There's a lot to glue. The bottom part is in a really bad way. I'm, um, I'm wondering how to do it actually because I have to glue so much <laughs> onto it so it's going to be a bit tricky. Um, we'll see how we go. But right now, like I said, I glued the artwork, the first panel, the first top right. So there's like six sections. There's the top and bottom section. Uh, and there's three panels left to right. Um, so the top rightmost section had the least amount of lift and I just glued that back down. That was the first bit I did. The middle one was kind of the same. There was a little bit of lift and I fixed that. And um, now I'm just going to glue under it because the under section in the middle 
top section has come away so that has to be fixed and the the other section uh the whole backing parts missing i've got all the, the panels i've got all the pieces i think i hope <laughs> um actually do i have all the bits oh yeah it's there it's folded it's folded away there we go i was gonna say i shouldn't be missing any um yeah so um what happened with this um it's really dirty but the artwork's intact but it's got a lot of dust and a lot of like um old bits of grass and stuff on them the reason is um this happened a long time ago and then i was renting and i took it to my rental in pieces and i left it just in the garage because it's hard to store something this big and um in, in the garage it just got dusty and i was like one day i'm gonna glue it back together and i just you know put it aside and didn't really have the room to sort of do it um and the reason it got grass on it was because i'd like mow the lawns and like i don't know the grass would somehow find its way into the garage <laughs> i'd open the garage door or something and the grass would blow in and then it would just blow around and i don't know that's that's how that happened so yeah just getting all the dirt off as much as i can where i glue and then like at the end like there's like i don't know little bits of dirt on top that i'll just wipe the top with a nice slightly damp cloth and um fix that up manually but yeah i'm just using some fine some thick and fine brushes and making sure i get all that dirt out uh, from inside and believe me when i say this i'm just showing you on camera giving that a quick wipe i've wiped that about six times now because you need to go over it to get every little bit of dirt out but um and then i'm just using basically anything heavy as weight so i'm using like toolboxes drills power supplies hard drives just anything i've got that's got weight on it just to keep things compressed i'm like lucky with the bottom layer because the, the the top layer was the one you need the most the heaviest thing on because it, it was peeling away and it's thin um but once you glue that it's then glued to the middle layer it's got more density so i won't need as much weight to glue this down you can see it's quite easily touching the bottom layer so just gotta uh get some glue happening now this is tricky oh let get it right in there Mm hmm I need a, a better light in here. <laughs> Can't see when the glue's coming out. Oh, that's why I didn't pull the thing up all the way. Yeah, that's it. All right. Okie okay, dokie. Okay. There's no strategic art to it, you can do any pattern really but I'm no expert on gluing shit back together um, either so leave a comment if I'm doing something wrong like I said I'm no expert on this but uh, just getting a, a bit of coverage over the area that I want to say stuff down and then what I do is along the edge it's important to have the edges glued I do a strip on the edge. I want the edges to sit down the most. Right. That's a lot of glue. Don't worry, these are old, ancient hard drives that no one gives a shit about. <laughs> I have lots of parts like this. Being as that I used to work in computers a lot. I still kind of work in computers. I'll be going back to it at some stage. The other thing I like about this glue is I can just wipe it off with my finger. I literally just wipe it on my hand and then just rub it off. 
and it doesn't stick there or burn or anything. It's not an intense glue is what I'm saying, I guess. But, uh, make sure that that's all. Actually, I might just push it off for a sec. Make sure I pushed it down a little, a little there. Good old power supply. <laughs> Who would have thought you could use an old AT power supply for repair jobs? <laughs> so that's it now. Just got to let that sit there for a, for a few hours, and uh, I'll come back and talk to you then. Hi there, guys and girls. I just took the um, the weights off this middle panel that I just glued down, and yeah, it's working. It's all back together now, as you can see, one piece. Yeah, it's coming along good. It's the bottom part that's going to be really hard, but yeah, the top's looking great so far. So yeah, as you can see, this folds in like that. That's how this stand goes, and the artwork sits in the middle. Um, yeah, so it's working out. Just got to keep continuing on. I'll probably do this bit later on. I'm not going to do it now. I'm about to go out, but uh, I just took the the weight's off and um, yeah that's stuck down quite nicely, quite nicely. I mean there's a few little ripples in it, I'm sure if I was really like, you know, really anal and I wanted it perfect I'd get like little, you know, ruler scraping things and push all the air bubbles out and do all that crap. I really don't care about it because like it's warped anyway sort of thing. There's probably some things you can't reverse, but you know, there's a little ripple there but that doesn't bother me because, like I said, the art goes in front of it anyway, so <clears throat> it's never going to be 100%, but um, no, it's coming along good and I'm quite happy. Now, this is interesting. When I join this, it's going to be a bit rough there. It's where one of the tears happen on the artwork, which sucks. Um, yeah, so I'll keep continuing on. Hi, guys. Oh, I'm tired. It's been a long day. Uh, so... Still just uh, working on this, I've flattened this out a bit, I've dusted this off a bit. Now I'm going to just, more gluing, glue this one down now. So, uh, let's get in there, let's get to it. Okay, about the big bottle. I'll say that much.
And that's pretty much it. Not very exciting, I know. Just me putting a bunch of heavy shit on a uh, cardboard stand that I'm gluing together, but uh, this is the way it's got to be. Step by step, we bring it back. So, ah, I'll let it set overnight, as usual. I'm back. All right, I left this overnight. Let's see uh, how it went. Always gets a little bit stuck. Probably put a, should probably put a, probably should have put something down. Actually, actually that's that stuck a lot worse than I thought. It's actually put crap on the table, but I can get that off. That's alright. So now I have to do this back bit. This is the bit that's teared off. I have to get that off. Um. Dust and dirt. Thirty hours. I'm not bothering to really like go crazy and clean it or get all the little bits off and any big lumpy bits I get off because I obviously want it to just glue down flat. But um, mostly it's just like dust and leaves and crap bits of grass <laughs> so this is the next part after glue the back part of this down now because there's a back a continuation part of this on the back hi there guys and girls <laughs> all right so so um now I have to attach this part that came off. So this part totally came off, right? This is one of the detached pieces. And it actually teared across here. But this piece can glue down. So this, this part can actually sit on the cardboard and that can glue down. So that will become connected essentially once this is all back together. So what I want to do is uh, I've got to do a few things here. I want to tape this so it's together right and make sure that it's lining up correctly. So, and then glue it in spot. So, that's the plan. Uh, it on top. No, it is under. It's, there like that. it's a bit hard to get this 100% how it was, but well, I guess we're going to go with that. And I'm just going to put a bit of tape to hold it together while I glue shit. So. Alright. Bit of tape. Tape fixes everything. Put it on the ends first. This is kind of tricky because I want to glue under the top part of the rip first and let that settle first before I glue the bottom bit of it. So now that it's like one piece again, can kind of see what we can do is too, we can actually, because there was already a fold, I can actually fold this over now and see that that lines up, which it does like that. So. I might leave that there actually, like that. It's funny how dusty this thing is. I can't explain how dusty this thing is. Like, seriously, it doesn't matter how many times I get that brush and dust it off, 
it's always finding new dust particles. Like I said, it was it was in storage, it was in my garage. I really didn't look after it. I had it's because it was so big. There was no way to sort of store it properly. Even this, I don't know if you can see this big box over here. I don't know if you can see it. Mm -hmm. You probably can't. I've got a, like a picture. It's a, a moving box for a mirror, essentially. That wouldn't even fit in that box. Um, so there was no real way I could store it. That's why I sort of it's ended up like this. And like I said, it was already wrecked anyway. So there was like, there was no use obsessing over it sort of thing. So now I could put a bit of tape on that side. I wonder if I should do that. I think I will do that to keep maintain the, the form. That can be glued under, it won't matter. The difference will be negligible. So why not do that? I'm just using this is just a tape gun with um really shitty standard sticky tape, nothing special. Uh, you know, I'm just using it for this part of the job. I probably only use it here, I think, because the rest of it sort of ripped along the line. This one ripped further up, which is kind of unique of it. So. Right. Yeah, I think that was a good idea doing that. Good, good thinking, Luke. I'll take credit for that. All right. So when you lift this up, this is where you really start to see some, start to see some shitty bits. Yeah. Dust. Really don't get in there. Get it out. It's no big deal, but I mean. While I'm doing it, I might as well get the dust out, right? So, now, I want to, I would like to, I've got, I've got something new here to use for compression. My marble collection. <laughs> yes, I have a marble collection. <laughs> I have lots of collections. There's shit you don't know about me, guys. It's not just Mortal Kombat. I got all sorts of problems when it comes to collecting shit. Me marbles. I was bored growing up, all right? So, that's nice and fucking heavy, and it's quite rectangular. So I wanna use that to pin most of this down after I get the glue happening on it. So, now, I can kind of almost do this in two steps. That bit and that bit. But I think, I think I'm just gonna go for it and do it all in one. So. Yeah, this glue is really great because it's not too. There's I've used glues like I've worked with friends of mine have used like real industrial fucking glues. Glues that literally, when you open them, they start to burn. Like you feel them; they're hot because there's a chemical reaction in them, like concrete glues and stuff. Real nasty shit. Like it will start burning into your hand. And I'm not joking, like, cause it, it happened to me. We had these gloves on and these gloves were shit. And you know, this glue is really good cause it, it does the job well. I mean, I know this is only um, pulp stuff, but it's not too industrial. It doesn't stink too much and everything, which I like, um, which is good. So, all right, here we go. Let's get this open.
My hair wasn't part of the deal. Get out. <laughs> now it's my my hair with glue on it. All right. Okay. Now, let's get a big heavy box of marbles, put them there. Wrap that. Uh, excuse me. And that handle in the way of that. Let's put that that way. Put that there. All right, I'm pretty happy with how that went. So once that's settled, I'll be able to glue the second half of the tear to the top main cardboard part and that will keep it reattached. So, um, yeah, yeah. And um, if you're wondering how I knew which way this cardboard went, um, the glossy side faced up and also the tear matched. So. You can see that it's glossy here. The back of this has got like water damage and dirt and shit on it. It'll never, it'll never, like I've said before, it'll never be as good as it was. But um, I just want to stand it up again and have the stand. I don't want to throw it out. I've never done really crafty stuff like this. I'm not, I, I like electronics more, you know. Uh, you know shit like this you know <laughs> I play around with things and stuff that I was gonna put in the background of my videos this is like an LED sign that says TMK you know I did shit like this you know but um, it works it lights up uses enamel wire there's an on-off switch here you know but um, I don't know I just didn't think just didn't get the result I wanted out of it sort of thing you know I've wanted to put stuff in the background of my videos for a long time and make them look really kick-ass have I, I like um, when people put things um, in the background like that and display stuff now I've got to get this glue off the table because last time that I didn't like I didn't like it getting on the table there so we're gonna try and avoid that this time I'm gonna use my finger because it's always best to use the right tools <laughs> When you glue and shit. I mean, technically I should put something down, a fucking drop sheet or something. I, did, I honestly didn't think I'd get glue on the table. I really didn't. But what's happening is when I sandwich the two pieces together, the glue comes out. And because I put a lot, because you don't want to put a small amount. You want to put, you want to get good coverage. So it's better to have more than less. You know, I can fix that later. But um, yeah, I'm gonna have to come back and get some tea tree oil and get this glue off or something because uh, it's left some marks. Let's see, some marks here now. Yeah, it's, it's left some marks. I don't know if you can see. That's the two marks here. Um, so yeah, I'll probably get some tea tree oil onto that at a later date and uh clean it off but uh yeah that's what we're up to so far uh in here so once this is back on and i glue this the uh, under part of the rip that will be pretty much the top section reassembled the bottom section is the hard part because like I, I don't know. I honestly don't know how I'm going to do it because I have to apply glue to the whole piece. I guess I'm just going to have to fucking glue the whole piece 
all the way down. You know, it'd be good if you could do it gradually. I mean, you probably could do it gradually and fold the cardboard and then do the next section and the next section. But it's probably better if I just bite the bullet and just put as much glue as I can all the way down. Make sure you get the edges so you get a nice even distribution. And uh, avoid the holes, obviously. And get as much glue in there as I can. Yeah, so I'll come back when this is dry and I'll show you how it went. All right, I'm just gonna uh, take this off now and see how it went. So let's check it out. Pretty good. Fold this back. See how it went. Yep, that's pretty darn good. It's pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Good. 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 Yes. Yes, 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 it's working. It's working! It's working! I guess I can glue the rest down now. Then, uh, then the top section will be done. I might leave this folded back so it stays where I want it to stay. Alrighty, be leaving that overnight. You pro you guys probably think the drill's not that heavy, but I modified the battery pack because the battery died in it and they told me to buy a new drill and I'm like, but the drill fucking works. And they're like, we don't make a battery for it anymore. So I was like, <laughs> so I built my own battery pack for it. <laughs> so it's got like all these Ikea ender loop batteries in it. So it's quite heavy, and um, I still get to use my drill. Why should I fucking throw it out for? It fucking why? It's stupid. <laughs> so yeah, that's quite heavy. The marbles weigh a ton. I'm gonna let that sit, and uh, I'll see you next time. That you, John Wayne? Is this me? Hi. All right. So I've let this sit overnight, and. Just, uh, just a heads up, I've already looked at this. I just put it back so you guys can see how I looked at it before. I, I just wanted to inspect it and I didn't have the camera running. Um, so I've already looked at it, but um, I'll show you guys now how it's went. So we're gonna take our weights away. And this is the piece that was reattached. Um, which is just, it's part of the back. Like I said, the back has three layers. It has the artwork, a pulpy middle bit, which gives the, the stand most of its resistance. That's the pulpy middle bit. And then you got this back part, which is like, I don't know, just makes it look nicer. It's white and glossy instead of, you know, that crappy uh, average cardboard. So <clears throat> let's bring this back. Now this is what I glued last night, this pit here. So this has been glued down, it's perfectly flat now. Um, my tape's still there, I'm just going to leave it there. No big deal on the back. And this is all glued. So as you can see, it's actually successful. 
So, we've got our three layers, they're actually attached. So, if I glue the pulp to it, it may be enough to stand up on its own now. I, I thought I might have to brace the backs, because it's gone weak and, you know, and separated in the middle. So, originally, these pieces of cardboard were one, I believe. I believe. Well, see, it looks like it's teared to me. So I think that was one big strip, one big strip, one big strip. And then they had the artwork, the artwork, and six of these glossy back bits. But um, now that it's all just, this is all one piece now, once I glue the pulp on and everything, it might be enough. There might be a weakness in the middle, I'm not sure. The stand just has to stand up like that. And the artwork slots in the middle, down the bottom here, there's slot holes. And there's a slot hole here as well, and a slot hole up here for the uh, um, the middle part, which goes dead center of this. So it might be okay, but um, I'm quite happy with these results. Um, as you can see, this side folds up as well, so that's how it goes like that. So I'll just keep keep continuing on, and I might uh, edit this first part into one video now, and uh, we'll start part two soon. I'll see you guys then.